YouTube, it's Asia back with another video. If you do not know, my name is Asia. I'm a lash tech among other things and I just wanted to make this video telling you all things I wish I would have knew before I took that lash class. <laughs> so let's jump right into the video. So first off, doing lashes is tedious. It's super tedious. It's tedious. It takes a long time. You're dealing with very tiny hairs, the right amount of glue, just it can be tedious okay it can be tedious it takes some time and it takes some patience okay next i would say it can take a long time to perfect your craft and build that clientele Hold on. so you may be thinking about taking that lash class and you're looking at your favorite lash tech ever on all her socials and you love her work you want to be just like her you want to be great you want to make some money all of that good stuff and unfortunately doing lashes is not something that you will learn in a class and have it just like that it's not something that you'll master in a day a week not even a month maybe not even two months honestly so doing lashes is a skill it's something that has to be worked on you have to practice all the time you know what i'm saying especially in the beginning to get to where you want to be so i would just like to say a disclaimer that you know it's going to take you a minute to really build clientele it's going to take you a minute to really fall in love with your work i mean you have to enjoy the process it's nice to see how much better you're doing this month than you did last month you know you really just got to be there for the journey because like i said it's going to take a while to get to where you're trying to go next your clients will cancel on you. They will just cancel. Right before the appointment, the night before the appointment. They might not even hit you up and tell you that they're not coming to the appointment. They won't even say anything at all. So I just want to also let y'all know that sometimes your clients will cancel and if you depend solely on doing lashes lashing is my full-time job i do not have any type of nine to five or side job or anything like that i mean i do have an online store but doing lashes is my main source of income and it sucks when a client cancels on you you know like when you think you're about to get some money maybe you got a bill to pay maybe you're gonna get your hair done whatever the case may be it sucks when a client cancels. it's nice to have in place policies that will kind of protect you a little bit such as deposits up front or cancellation fees and things like that because clients will cancel and there's really no way to prevent it sometimes it's because you know something really comes up and they really can't make the appointment sometimes they just don't have the money and also with that not having the money thing you really also have to market yourself and set your prices a certain way to apply the type of clientele that really can afford your services so you're not always getting clients that are canceling because they can't afford it you want to market yourself to where you're attracting clients that easily afford you you know they're not penny pinching to get their lashes done this is something that they like to do on a regular and something they don't mind spending the money on so that's a video for another day but definitely 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 be aware that your clients will cancel next you have to learn how to control your hands <laughs> every student i've ever had because i also teach other girls how to do lashes your hands are going to shake you are trying to get tiny little hairs glued to one single little hair and you know you got to be very precise when you do it you have to make sure that lashes are not sticking together and you have to make sure the lashes are applied correctly so that they will stay and last as long as they're supposed to last so definitely be aware that you don't have to have super steady hands coming into it but you will have to work on steadying out your hands or being able to work with them as they shake and just pushing through it I have so many students that get super discouraged as soon as their hands shake and I try to let them know to this day my hands still shake when it's like my first client of the day your hands just have to warm up and they have to get used to lashing and even once you are used to lashing they may still shake sometimes that's another reason why you want to make sure that you're taking really good care of yourself when you do do lashes you want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water make sure you're eating because those things will affect your hands and they will shake and it is so horrible when you're trying to apply lashes and your hands are going crazy on your client's face like 
backs your back will hurt sometimes we are slouched over trying to see what we're doing the whole time and you're supposed to keep your posture right keep your client at like chest level you know i've seen all these tips i've tried them it never sticks i always end up like you know so your back's gonna hurt sometimes especially when you have a long day full of clients it just is what it is just get prepared for it there are things you can do to try and lessen the hurt a little bit like i said making sure that you're in the right position when you're lashing also make sure you're stretching in between clients and before your first client of the day and things like that but just know that back pain is a little bit associated with doing lashes lash supplies are expensive i have an online store where i actually do sell lash supplies i sell trays tweezers your disposable supplies you know adhesive wipes things like that and i plan to add much more like you know binder primer glue remover all those things but i did just start but i say all this to say shop with me and know that lash supplies are expensive yes you can buy lash supplies for cheap on amazon but those supplies will only get you started they will not do you justice i promise you there are way better trays and glues and especially especially better tweezers on different lash supply companies like myself and plenty of others uh, you can find them on instagram you can find them everywhere same way you find any other business there are lash supply stores and you definitely want to look into what products work for you all products do not work for everybody there may be a glue that works great for you and works horrible for me you need to invest into quality lash supplies so that way you can get the best outcome from your work and so can your client i definitely know that lash supplies are going to be an investment and they're going to constantly be an investment because you're going to have to constantly buy your lash supplies in order to do lashes <clears throat> lastly I did not, I mean, I knew, but I didn't really know how much I needed to learn about business and marketing in order to grow my clientele. I think a lot of people, when they think about doing lashes and hair and services in general, they think of it as like a side hustle and they don't realize that it can be so much more than that. And in order to make it so much more than that, you have to know how to market yourself. You have to know how to attract your ideal client. So you're definitely gonna want to constantly invest in courses and you know just research and you know figuring out what works for you and keep up with the trends and the new things that are happening because there's always a new way to market yourself so you definitely just want to stay above the wave and constantly educate yourself and same thing goes for doing lashes in general so like not on the business side of it but you know the skill of lashes things are constantly changing and trends are constantly coming so you definitely want to stay on the you know stay on the rise lastly i did say this a little bit earlier but you have to keep practicing keep practicing keep practicing like I said, I've been lashing for two years and I'm still not where I want to be. I mean, I I feel like I do a pretty good job. I insert some of my work. But I'm just saying, like, you want to constantly practice. You want to constantly make your craft better. You want to just constantly bring value to your clients, you know. Like any skill, like playing a sport or anything like that, you just have to constantly practice if you want to get better. So those are going to be all the things that I wish I knew before I became a lash tech. But I would like to say I love being a lash tech. There's nothing else I would rather do. I love the money. I love the control I have over my schedule, my business in general. I love being a lash tech. But these are some things that are on the con list of being a lash tech and some things you may want to be aware of before you decide to become a lash tech so if you like this video if you like some things you might not know about the lash industry please like this video and i make videos all the time for lash techs and business owners in general on leveling up their business so if that's something you're interested in please go ahead and subscribe and come back and see me again